Did you know that it's been 18 months since Widex released their previous hearing aid, the Widex Moment Shear? But even with the shear, and I know that Widex definitely won't like me saying this, in my opinion, it was pretty similar to their old technology. However, just packaged ever so slightly differently. Well, they're back. And this time we have something that we haven't seen from Widex in a very, very, very long time. It's a completely new style of hearing aid. But the big question is exactly how different is it? Now, I was very lucky to have gotten my hands on this set of hearing aids a few weeks ago so I can give you the full lowdown on exactly how they're different, that's both inside and out. I will talk about what they look like in my ears, if they're suitable for you, and if you should consider them as your next set of hearing aids. Any audiologists watching this today will know exactly what I mean when I say that once a patient's wearing a Widex hearing aid, it's very difficult to get them to wear any other manufacturer. And the reason being is that Widex have their own unique sound, with their sound philosophy being that less is more to achieve as natural a sound as possible. Now, if you're sat there wearing hearing aids today, let me know in the comments which manufacturer of hearing aid you're wearing. These are the results of a recent YouTube poll from you guys, the hearing tracker audience. So where do you personally fit into this? Are you already a Widex hearing aid user yourself or one of the other hearing aid manufacturers? Let me know in the comments beneath this video. Now these are the rest of Widex's current family of hearing aids. From the Widex Moment RIC 10, the SRIC RD and their RIC 312D. To their behind the ear models, which includes the BTE 312, BTE 13D and the BTE RD. To their custom models, such as their CIC and ITE hearing aids. And as of February the 7th, 2024, you'll be able to order their new Smart Ricard D in both the US and Canada. And as of April the 3rd, you'll be able to also order them in the UK and Europe. So what's new and what have Widex stuck with from the rest of their hearing aids? The first and obvious thing that clearly stands out is their new design. Widex have had the same design for their receiver and canal hearing aids for over 15 years now with their size 10 Passion models and their size 312 Fusions. So I find it very interesting that finally they have taken a punt and followed the footsteps of both Phonak and Signia with their Slim and Stiletto receiver and canal hearing aids. When I recently met with Widex, one key development that they were particularly excited by was their redesign of the directional microphone inlets. Tucking the microphones away on the side, plus changing the microphone position to more of a horizontal angle. 20 degrees if you're really interested in the details, which Widex are boasting gives two key benefits over and above their previous technology. Firstly, this change in microphone angle will improve the effectiveness of the directional microphones and therefore improve your ability to hear in background noise. And secondly, secondly, with the microphones being more tucked away, this will also improve their functioning in windy environments and also with any handling noise. So when you're out on a windy day, the sound shouldn't be quite as overwhelming as with their predecessors, giving you a 20 decibel reduction in wind noise. And also, if you run your fingers through your hair or you're touching the hearing aids, there should be an 88% improvement in touch noise. As far as the colours go, Winex have five different colours to choose from, with four of them being the most popular colours from their previous family of hearing aids, plus the addition of this new rose gold colour. Whilst rechargeability is a given nowadays, Widex have found a way to take their Smart Ricard Ds to another level, as it isn't just the hearing aid that's had a redesign, but they've also overhauled their rechargeability too. Now they've done so by introducing this brand new charger. In fact, do you know what? I would actually go as far as calling it a supercharger, as there's nothing else like it out there from any other hearing aid manufacturer. Why? Well, firstly, it just looks cool. Like, really cool. Who said hearing aid technology needs to be big, miserable, ugly and beige? Just like the hearing aids themselves, this has a solid, quality, well-built feel, which can't be said for all of the technology that's currently out there at the moment. Honestly, it feels so nice. The lid has a magnetic shutter to keep it closed, which is way better than having a catch, which is bound to break sometime. It has a power button, is USB-C charged, which is pretty much standard nowadays, but can also be charged using Qi wireless technology too. There are also three LEDs indicating the life left in the battery built into the charger itself. 
Yes, that's right. You heard me correctly. This is also a portable charger, which breaks all records storing five days worth of charge in the charger itself. Now, it doesn't matter if you speak to Phonak, Starkey, Resound, Oticon or Signia. Yes, they all have portable chargers. So if you go away for a long weekend, camping somewhere, for example, and you don't have easy access to power, you'll get a maximum of three days worth of battery life from them. But these come with five days. Now, to top that, the hearing aids themselves can hold 37 hours of charge with no Bluetooth streaming and up to 27 hours with eight hours of streaming. So technically, with that and the charger itself, you should be able to get seven full days with your portable charger of charge. Well done, Widex. Similarly to other hearing aids, they also have interchangeable receivers. So if your hearing loss falls within the gray shaded area, that's whether you have a mild, moderate, severe, or profound hearing loss, then they're technically suitable for you. Now it's confession time. I have to admit that when I was invited to the Widex headquarters to get my hands on a pair of these for the very first time, I went there with the expectation that Widex would have a brand new chip and a brand new platform built inside these hearing aids, but they haven't. So am I disappointed? Actually, no, I'm not. And the reason being is that I said this to them and their response was interesting. They said, Matthew, if it isn't broken, then why would we fix it? Touché. They asked me why would they stray away from the Widex Moment platform when it's giving patients the most natural and best sound that Widex have ever been able to provide. Along with their unique pure sound technology and their tinnitus features, plus their Bluetooth connectivity, I actually have a lot of respect for that response. Both within and outside of the world of hearing aids, technology is so rapidly changing, but at the same time, there is no question that some hearing aid manufacturers will bring out new hearing aids claiming significant improvements, of which sometimes they can be minimal, but they just want something new on the market. This response from Widex also gives me massive amounts of confidence that when one day we do see a completely new chip from Widex, it's going to be something pretty special. Now, whilst all of this sounds great, in my opinion, no Widex hearing aid is complete without their best accessory, the Widex Sound Assist, which you have to check out in this review.